Hi everybody, welcome to my video today, you guys. I am sorry, I've been MIA this week. I posted a video on Monday and then all of a sudden it's Thursday. <laughs> so I'm so sorry, you guys. I meant to have this video up for you guys a couple days ago, but we're gonna dive in and do it. I'm creating a project today where I'm casing the project, which means I just found something that I really liked and I'm copying it. So casing, if you hear demonstrators or other people who are doing videos, when you hear them say I cased this, it means they copied and shared everything. So they cased the project. So I need a little thank you gift. Um, I do a local class with another demonstrator and I want to we wanted to give a little thank you gift to the restaurant owner we are able to use the restaurant for free and everybody eats dinner there but we wanted to give a little favor we do little uh, treats um, for our class members and there will be a video next week um, with some fun news and some classes on the go and I'll be sharing the favors that I put together with a friend for our class members but we wanted to give a little gift for the to the owner so these are our pizza I'm gonna be using these two stamp sets and the project is gonna be cased so what I want to do is I want to use the this pizza box which is kind of funny because we started out our class at a pizza restaurant a round table pizza and then now we are at Dickie's barbecue <laughs> so I'm gonna be giving her a little pizza box and I hope that that's gonna be okay with her <laughs> uh, but I think she'll like it so what I want to do is I want to fill this pizza box with three by three cards so I wanted to take a few minutes and really show you guys these pizza boxes because my product spotlight for the week is these pizza boxes and I've gone crazy buying these you guys in fact today I'm gonna to be doing a live video um, if this goes up tomorrow it will have been yesterday but I'm gonna be doing a live video on my Facebook page um, of some product that I bought with Stampin Up I put in a really big order and you guys I've gone crazy buying these because I think they're so adorable and I really want to use these for my kids as treats for Halloween um, and so I needed to have you know several sets of them so but I wanted to share with you guys I've been sharing with you guys photos and my different thoughts on them over on Facebook and then in my VIP um, customer group and so I wanted to kind of share with you guys the details of these because I've been getting some questions it's hard to tell from photos right so these are how they come they're gonna just come all flat like this but they're all scored so all you need to do to begin with is just begin folding all of these pieces in. now one side is kind of like a matte finish and then one side is like a glossy finish so what you can do is you can do either side if you want to stamp on the box I'm gonna suggest you do it on the matte side of the paper so that your stamp is not gonna smear okay so this one I put together and it's with a glossy kind of side out and you can see that see how the light like kind of um, shines on that so then let's go ahead and put this one together and we'll do it in um, where the matte side is out so there's just a couple little pieces you can pull off of there and then it's really easy to go together it's like once you start folding and bending and pushing like you're totally it's it's gonna go right together right on its own see Just like that and it's a little pizza box so what i want to do is i want to put some three by three cards in here so this you can see the difference see one side is sh the inside of this one's shiny the un inside of this one's matte shiny is on the outside and the mats on the outside the matte uh finish so you could stamp on this if you wanted we're going to wrap some cards some designer paper and cardstock around it so let's get started what i want to do is i want to do some three by three cards so we have three by three envelopes and what we're going to do is do some three by three cards so I want to do like four of them so this is going to be like a little note card set so what I'm doing is I'm cutting my card stock at six inches and then I'm going to cut it at three inches and I'm using our thick whisper white card stock and we'll cut at six inches again I want four of these and then we'll cut at three and then because this is my thick whisper white what I want to do is go ahead and score these 
so that they will fold properly. And I'm just using the score blade on my trimmer. Okay guys, I'm back. I kind of adjusted what I was doing. I always think I'm just gonna copy something, like I'll just copy it exactly and then that'll be what I'll do, but I always end up kind of tweaking it up a little bit. So I kind of have, I've decided to tweak things up a little bit, um, but let's dive in and I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna be using this stamp set for the sentiments and I've already stamped them because I was having a little bit of a problem stamping them straight uh, when I was on camera. So I've stamped those and I'll show you guys what I've done. And then I have all my supplies. I'm using the painted autumn designer paper and I've just picked out several different designs. So what I have is I have my three by three card bases right here. So I have four of those. Then I've picked out three designer papers that I think will go nice. And these are at three... Two and, a, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So they're gonna layer on here and they're gonna give you a nice white border, okay? So then the next thing I have is a white piece of cardstock that I've cut at two and a half by two and a half. So this is all going to layer together, okay? So we can set these things aside. Well, let's put these together really quickly. Okay, so we have all of our card bases done. Okay, so now let's do the stamping here. So I've done the sentiment, and what I wanna do is have these kind of layer um, over the sentiment and off of the card, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick Crushed Curry and Cajun Craze. Now I'm gonna do my crushed curry first and we're gonna stamp off. So this is my first layer. So that's why you're a little far away. I wanna show you how I'm doing this and then I'll zoom in to show you guys um, the other stamping, okay? So let's start with this one. I'm gonna do crushed curry. I'm gonna stamp off. Then I'm gonna come back over And I'm going to stamp back on there. Now that's very light. And a lot of people have been upset that this maybe isn't stamping correctly. And there's this part right here that feels like maybe it's not stamped um, right. It is. That's the way the stamp is supposed to look. So when you stamp that and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't get full coverage. You totally did. So I'm not always great at these kinds of... Um, stamps images because I always feel like I'm doing it wrong but what I've learned is if you just keep going then it all works out so I don't know if I want to stamp this part off once let me see how yeah so we'll stamp off once so you can see this is how it would look normally if you were just stamping but because I'm making this lighter and we're stamping off and I just try not to like really overthink it. Put that on there. And we're going to get this really beautiful look. Now we're going to do the middle part. And we'll do that in early espresso. And we're going to stamp off again. So this is just giving us a lighter look. And then what we're going to do is add the little tiny dots. And we're going to do that without stamping off. So we're doing the early espresso and layering those here in the middle. Just like that. So this is how it's gonna look. So let me zoom in and you guys can see up close. together so I'm just gonna do this to the other two cards and then we'll finish putting them together okay guys so I went ahead and I stamped the rest of it and then I added them to the card base and I just added a little bit of foam tape right underneath the white part and these turned out 
so cute. I love them. I love the colors and I love that pop of designer paper right behind it. So now let's go ahead and decorate our pizza box and we're going to use the same designer paper. So what I want to do is make a little belly band so that it can be pulled off and then the cards will go in the front. So what I've done is just picked another set of that designer paper and I've cut it at three inches. And then what I'm doing is I'm very tightly wrapping this around the whole box. I could trim a little bit of this paper down, but I'm not going to, it's totally fine. I'm not worried about it. And then I just need some tape. Okay, so now this can come off. So this will slide right off, okay? So then what I want to do is add another piece of the designer paper. Now this piece was just the extra piece from this other side. So I, when I trimmed it off, I had this little bit of a layer. And so I thought, well, why not use it? So we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to wrap this around. Right here, I'm going to want to trim a little bit of this off. So I'm just, I'm not even going to worry about if it's perfect. I'm just going to snip it off. So I'm pulling that tight adding some tape and then what I'm going to do is just go around the edges and I just find if I pinch these together and make a little bit of a crease it tends to look a little bit better and stay a little bit better so now this whole piece can just slide off okay so now what I've done is I've taken my stitched circle dies. You guys know I love these dies so very much. I took my stitched circle die and what I want to do is add this stamp set it says life is a beautiful thing and we're gonna stamp that with crushed curry and we're just gonna stamp this right in the middle of that circle looks beautiful and we're gonna add this to the paper. And then I have some of these leaves I thought I would tuck in. Now this came from the Leaf Punch. And you can bundle these two products together and you'll save 10%. So I just took my Leaf Punch and I went ahead and added, uh, I just grabbed the designer paper. So this is one side of the designer paper and then this is the other. So I really like doing that with punches. Um, if you can just use the designer paper instead, you don't even have to stamp anything um, or worry about it. Just use that designer paper. So we're going to add a little bit of foam to the back of this so I can tuck those leaves in different ways. So we'll put this here, but I think we need, maybe we need some ribbon. I added some ribbon and then I added some linen thread. I don't know, I've really been into layering ribbon these days and twine together. So I went ahead and I layered those. I used some crushed curry ribbon and I felt like that was the best ribbon to use that I had. So then let's add these little leaves. So maybe I went a little too far. Maybe I added a little too much, but I really wanted to layer this up. So let's just add a few of these. Okay, so I have those leaves on the side. Now this whole thing will pull off just like a belly band. So this whole thing will pull off. And then what I can do is I can add my three by three envelopes 
and my cards. I can put this back on. I'm waiting for my envelopes. They're coming in my order today. And then I can put this right back on. It'll go right back on and you just slide that back on and now this is a cute little gift that you can give. So I'll be giving this to the owner of the restaurant where we do our card classes. So I hope you enjoyed seeing me use these pizza boxes. They're so cute. I love them. I can't wait to do Halloween treats for my kids in them. And I just think they're fabulous. I think I will be getting quite a few more of these to have on hand for little gifts and treats and doing the three by three by three cards in them is really fun as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be back tomorrow I hope with another video for you guys and I hope you're enjoying your day